It's Red Skelton. Geritol, the remarkable new tonic that helps you feel stronger fast, brings you the comedy program that helps you feel happier fast, The Red Skelton Show. With David Rose and his orchestra. And starring Red Skelton. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and Merry Christmas to you all. Gee, I, uh, on the way over to the studio tonight here at CBS, I got my Christmas tree. <laughs> there it is. It's the last time I ever ride on a crowded bus, though. <laughs> and these people, I can just see them feeling their way home right now. <laughs> you know, Christmas trees this year... Okay, this is all fruit. <laughs> Christmas trees are really expensive this year. I want to show you what you can get for about ten bucks. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, we may have some lucky one in the audience tonight. Uh, one of our uh, crew members, hey Pete, will you come over, please? Uh, he, this is, a, yeah, come on over, Pete. This is uh, Pete. Now, uh, everybody, get ready. We're going to pull this off and see who won the turkey. <laughs> Uh, people on the show And by the way On the way over To the studio tonight I went by Lily Sincere's house And I saw her uh, Untrimming the tree <laughs> <laughs> Now if you get that Would you explain it to me Because I don't get it <laughs> Oh here's something From Gertrude and Heathcliff These are all from Presents of the people uh, that uh, All the characters On my show And this is from Heathcliff and Gertrude <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here's something. It says, Merry Christmas from San Fernando Red. <laughs> uh, it's uh, extra ballots to vote next year, it says. <laughs> and from Dead Eye, a Christmas, this is a real Texas Christmas you all log. <laughs> From uh, Willie Lump Lump's wife, she said she had a tough time getting it away from Willie. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have some. Oh, this is from my family over here. Here's something from Richard. A uh, pair of shoestrings. It says, pair of shoestrings, a pair of socks from Valentina, a pair of shoes from Georgia. <laughs> well, my feet should have a very merry Christmas. <laughs> Here's something from Freddie the Freeloader. It says, no man should take at this time of the year. Here's your watch back. <laughs> Fun ticket. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's see what else we have here. Oh, from Clem Cadiddlehopper, a fly swatter with a year's supply of flies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Christmas is a wonderful time of the year, but you know, some people don't exactly come out even. Now, last year I felt so sorry for David Rose. You know, he has 36 musicians, and he went out and he bought them all hand painted ties. You know, paid $10 a piece for them. You know what they all did? <laughs> they chipped in and bought him one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see what else. we have. One. I should have known at rehearsal when those musicians didn't laugh. Take it out. <laughs> then from Mr. Appleby, George Appleby, you know the little meat fellow that, that's on the show. <laughs> he sent me a present. <laughs> lovey, lovey. <laughs> says, you better get better or you'd better get. Mm. <laughs> the sponsor says, oh my, this one of always wanted a BB gun. <laughs> Real life BB. <laughs> and I'll put it back in the box till after Christmas. <laughs> and here's one from Califar McPug. Sorry you didn't use me more on the show this season, but Merry Christmas anyhow. Wonder what it could be. <laughs> lovey, lovey. <laughs> you know, that's the same guy down there. <laughs> So now that we can sort of get on with our Christmas show, every week I talk about my family, but tonight we're going to take you into my home and we're going to have Christmas Eve at the Skelton. So we see you in just a moment. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, la da dee, 
Boy, these imported balls, they're really wonderful, aren't they? Look at the beautiful. Mr. Skelton, don't huh? you think this tree is a little conspicuous in the middle of the room? No, last year I had it close to the television set and Milton Berle stole all the ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is Mrs. Skelton uh, up yet? Well, yes, and she's putting the children to bed, I think. Oh, good, good. <clears throat> oh, my. <laughs> oh, there they are. Look at them down here. <laughs> Say goodnight to you before they go to bed. Okay, little Red. You know you look like a little angel. I don't feel like one. You don't? <laughs> Did you bring your wife with you tonight? No. Aren't you married? No. What are you? A bachelor. A bachelor. <laughs> well, <laughs> congratulations. You both laid your first eggs in television. <laughs> Bye now. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> oh, they're wonderful, aren't they? <laughs> Oh, where'd I put those bulbs? Gee, that looks pretty. <laughs> well, we said we were going to decorate everything. <laughs> Hiya, Danny. Say, hey, what is this? They're my presents for Valentine and Richard. Well, that's awfully nice of you. How come you're not home in bed? Only little kids go to bed this early. Oh, I guess. You're a much bigger man in your own home, huh? Yeah. Say, yeah. Mr. Skelton, what's that Kubel clock up oh, on the wall there? That's Richard's Christmas present. See, I just put it up to see how it looked. You ever see one of them? Look, you see? You, put, you turn it around here to the... like this. Now watch it. Skelton, they'll disturb the children. No, they won't hear it. Listen, I love these things myself. <laughs> I think he's cooked out. No! Nope. <laughs> Better get me a hammer and nail. They'll hear it. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. Here we are. Oh! <laughs> I hit the wrong nail. <laughs> there you are. That'll hold you, you little rat. during the hunting season. <laughs> Crazy mixed up birds. <laughs> you know, we could stay here all night, but uh, I let him get all the laughs. <laughs> hey, look, here. You see what I got for Valentina? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? She's almost as big as your own little sister. And prettier, too. And well, if you press her stomach, she talks. Hey, have you seen, have you seen those uh, Ma and Paul Kittle dolls? You wind them up and they scratch for a half hour. You know? <laughs> then they have the Marjorie Main doll. You press its stomach and it spits right in your eye. <laughs> See, you know, I can never figure out one thing. Why do dolls always say mama? How come they never say papa? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Lovey, lovey. Lovey, lovey. Does that answer your question? <laughs> yeah, that answers my question. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... Uh, Aren't you supposed to be in bed? Huh? Aren't you supposed to go to bed? Come on, go back to bed then. <laughs> Great ad-libbing, isn't it? Danny, don't you think it's time for you to go home? Oh, I'm old now. I can stay up. Are you hey, sure? You know, <laughs> yeah, I've got to stop letting the kids stay up and watching the late, 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 late movie, you know. They get the most weird ideas. Richard says, I said, why don't you go back to sleep? He says, I don't want to go to sleep. He said, I would just sleep while ago, and there was a lion jumped on my bed, so I took out my pocket knife, and I cut off his tail. Can you imagine a kid cutting off a lion's tail? <laughs> <No>! <laughs> you got your laugh? Good night. <laughs> Boy, am I glad Valentina didn't have an elephant on her bed. <laughs> Who writes your material? <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> See, that's Captain Jet's slogan, you know. That's not it. Uh... <laughs> well, what do you say? Wait, what is this light up the tree, huh? Can I help you, Mr. Stone? No, no. Electricity's not for children. It's just for grown-ups. Here. Let's get the one. Well, there's the one. What happened here? <coughs> oh! Mary, do you think he'll burn the house down like he did last year? <laughs> what happened just then, Ray? Oh, I plugged the wrong thing in here. This is the one that's supposed to be. Here, now, plug it in over there, will you? <laughs> oh, pull it out! Pull it out! Good heavens. <laughs> there are dozens of packages in the kitchen that have to be wrapped. Don't you 
you think it'd be safer for all of us if you went and wrapped them? Yeah, I can take a hint. <laughs> I'd give you a Christmas kiss, but I'm afraid your ears would light up. <laughs> <laughs> They come around every year, Daddy. You get Richard Valentine. Let's go to the window. Christmases may be a little different from ours, but I'm sure he has a wonderful time, too. My, my, what a beautiful tree. I think it's just about seen its last year, though. Everybody in Los Angeles has got a pink one, a yellow one, a blue one, a white one. I've got the only brown tree in town. <laughs> oh, it looks beautiful, though. Where's the spirit? Where's Maurice? What did you do with Maurice? Oh, here it is. Yeah, I forgot it. Oh, where's my hand? Oh, I'll just put it over the fireplace. Hello. I got that from an English movie. Hello. <laughs> Oh, who's there? It's me, Freddy, old boy, Cedric. Oh, I... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Give me just a moment, boy. <laughs> Come in, come in, come in. Sorry to keep you waiting. You know, you can't be too careful around this neighborhood. Some riffraff moved in. <laughs> Last week, somebody stole my stove. Oh, really? Don't know how they ever got away with it. I had my feet in the oven at the time. <laughs> the pretty good boy, I merely dropped by to wish you a very, merry, merry Christmas. And the same to you, old boy, the same to you. What a lovely, lovely tree. Yes. I say, what's that on top? Well, I needed a steeple, you see. So I found that in back of a Chinese restaurant down on Main Street. Oh, really? Well, what does it say? It says, uh, Christmas special. Uh, chicken foo young. And, uh, <laughs> there's a new dish, by the way. Uh, egg foo young. <laughs> with, uh, cranberry sauce. <laughs> yeah, oh, good heavens, there's one green needle left. One green needle left. I better put it out where it can get a little moisture. I don't want it to get... Ruin, you see, get it out of the way. It helps the close-ups, too. <laughs> oh, 
I'm sorry that you're seated at our table. You see, I don't have any uh, food. Oh, dear boy. Any food at all would make it a merry Christmas this year. Yes, I was going to invite the whole gang over, you know, and have a little Christmas dinner. But I had a tough time stuffing the turkey. Oh, really? Yeah, I was stuffing it down my coat when the guy caught me. You know? <laughs> but we can have a little uh, Christmas Eve, uh, uh, shall we? Uh... Oh, bully, bully, yeah. Good, I'll go get the punch bowl. Right. Mm. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful piece. <laughs> yes, isn't that lovely? That was given to me my, by, by my father. He was the Earl of Buckingham. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there we are. Here we are. Mm, uh. mm, good year. <laughs> <laughs> that was mine at rehearsal. How <laughs> Oh, well, let, let that be my gift to you, will you? <laughs> I wanted to give you something right now. <laughs> a one week's notice. <laughs> oh, uh, you'll love this. This is very delightful. Mrs. Diggs, I, uh, I got these for a very strange coincidence. The wind is blowing so hard out here. Would you believe it if I told you the chicken laid this egg seven times? <laughs> Same egg, seven times. <laughs> Figure it out. I can't explain them. I won't tell them. <laughs> Now we'll see what it is. Just moisten your lips to that, would you? Here we are. Well, Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, here we are trying to get oil, and there's something else more squeaky than we are. <laughs> oh, good heavens. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Tom and Jerry. <laughs> well, I'll put them outside and let them run around until they sober up. <laughs> Why, what iron do they have in their blood, huh? <laughs> well, dear boy, looks like it's going to be a lean year all round. Oh, well, I will. I'm ready. Good heavens. Hi, we it's a rain. Hey, <laughs> fellas, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes? Relax, this, this is a social call. Oh, it is? Yeah, you see, we had, uh, we had a raffle down at headquarters, and I won this turkey. Being as we already have one at home, well, I was kind of wondering if maybe you might be able to use them, Freddy. You mean that... The police department is going to give old Freddy the freeloader after all the trouble I've caused you, boy. Yeah, he's oh, you shouldn't have done it. You shouldn't have done it. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas to you. What a delightful looking thing that is. Huh? Oh, I always like a little snack just before going to bed, you know. <laughs> hey, what will you have? The uh, white or dark meat? Or would you like some of that red stuff? <laughs> Freddy, dear boy, that's not the way. First, you have to pluck it. Well, look, I don't want to play them. I want to eat them. Freddy, you know you can't eat a turkey till he's dead. Oh, details, details. <laughs> hey, don't you have a gun? How about taking him out and shooting him for us, huh? Me? Yeah. Shoot a turkey? Oh, Freddy, huh? I'm sorry. I, I just couldn't. No. Well, I say, dear boy, aren't you the chap that knocked off three gangsters at the bank last week? Yeah, but I didn't have to eat him. <laughs> he's all yours, Freddy. It's funny, Merry that Christmas. joke was mine at rehearsal, too. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas to you, too. Well Say Merry Christmas for all the boys if you happen to run into them in the smog. <laughs> Freddy, dear boy, don't tell me you're afraid to kill that turkey. Certainly not. Where's my hatchet? There it is. Yes, sir. Look at that thing, boy. That's as sharp as an axe. <laughs> <laughs> is a well-rehearsed uh, sound man. <laughs> well, come on, boy. I'm going to make a split personality out of you right now. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, I shave with it. Oh, careful now. Take it easy, boy. You know, I don't, I'm not too fond of you guys while you're alive. You know. Here, here, here. <laughs> Did somebody call? <laughs> Well, Freddy, did you take care of him? Uh, any minute now, any minute now. Oh, what do you mean? I left the axe with him. He'll probably commit suicide. <laughs> well, Freddy, dear boy, it's getting rather late. I think I must toddle off. Yes, well, Merry good luck to you. Merry Christmas to you. Cheerio. 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 Stop that. being on the New Year, would you? Yes. Well, Freddy, it's a lovely night out. Oh, yes, yes. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> oh, good heavens, only five minutes till twelve. I don't get back here for a few minutes, so I better move it up now. <laughs> five minutes to twelve. Here we go. <laughs> after all. <laughs> Good heavens, what was that noise? Why, it sounded like reindeer. favorite cigar butts. <laughs> Look at that king size. <laughs> oh, I knew Santa Claus wouldn't forget old Freddy. And now, let's return to Christmas at the Skelton's. Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn king Peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinners reconciled Joyful all ye nations rise Joy the triumph of the skies With the angelic host proclaim Christ is I'd be very happy to. Now, if I sing this, if you're real nice, we have a wonderful Christmas present for, for both of you from a Geritol sponsor of uh, Jackie Berry on Juvenile Jury. And it says, any time that you want to appear, you can in person. Wouldn't that be nice? Now, that's that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of our wonderful sponsor, Geritol, who's been making it possible for me to visit your living room, we'd like to thank them for making it possible for you to visit our living room. And, uh, well, all we can say is, well, may I sing now? What shall I sing for you? Oh, you faithful. Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to bear. Come, let 
and gentlemen, Jared Tall, and all of us here at CBS, wish you a Merry Christmas and the best of health. Good night. Merry Christmas.